Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Kelly and today we are going to be doing cheap, easy spring decor ideas. Oh my gosh, who doesn't like cheap and easy, right? A lot of these ideas are actually recycled um, projects that I had done maybe last year and I just wanted to do something different this year, which is so great. So I did pay a dollar for this last year. This was a jar from the Dollar Tree that holds a little candle. And I had made a DIY with it last year and I wanted to just change it up and do something different. So my bottle, as you can see, was already painted. So mine is going to be a little different than if you were to go buy one of these from Dollar Tree because you're not going to have that paint layer that I already had. <laughs> So, of course, I'm going to put some painter's tape down to make my line and take some Mod Podge and go over that line real quick and let it dry before I start painting. That will pretty much ensure an almost perfect straight line with no bleeding. <laughs> I'm going to take my favorite plaster Waverly paint and I'm going to paint the bottom of this jar in plaster. Now, I painted, I think I did three coats just because I was trying to blend that line in that I already had on there. <laughs> You don't have to do that because yours won't have a line on yours. But I went up higher and I did that for a reason. Um, usually I would have done like the line a little bit lower, but I wanted, you'll see at the end of this project, I wanted the flower to just come above the line. So right now you see me doing a chunky coat. Like I said, I'm trying to cover up what I already had on there. So that's the neat thing about painting. You can do textures and really make it yours. So there is my chunky bottom. I'm just going to remove that tape and go grab me some pink string. So I have this beautiful pink and white string from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put a little hot glue at the bottom and I'm just going to wrap a few um, layers of the string going all the way around, kind of overlapping each other. I wanted it just to not be perfectly going around the jar. I wanted overlapping and X's. And when I had it the way I wanted, then I went up to the line, the paint line, and put a little hot glue and put a piece of string going all around the paint line at the top. <laughs> It is so cute. Oh my gosh, the pink, the white, it's such a beautiful little jar. Now I picked up these flowers from Dollar Tree. They had pink and white and they are lights. And they actually do different color. They light up different colors and I thought the pink one would be so pretty in this jar. And like I said, I painted that up higher so that when I put that pink rose in there, you would see the top of the rose. See the different colors it lights up? They're so cute. Now this is a votive holder. So the pink rose goes right into the votive holder and you just screw that lid right back on. And it's so easy to reach in there and just grab the rose to turn it off and on. And just use your fingers when you put it back in to push the petals down and see, it floats right above our white pink in line. This is so cute for spring and it can be changed up as well. For summer, you could put a, just a regular candle in there if you wanted, or this also kind of goes over into the summer decor as well. But for a, a dollar, say 50, because you get two roses for a dollar, you can't beat that price point. And here it is on my shelf. I still have my Easter decor out because during this filming of this video, it still was, I still was decorated for Easter. But I wanted to show you how cute this looks on a shelf. Another great item at Dollar Tree are these little glass um, I guess are candle holders, I think. They have lids. This one doesn't because I used the lid for another project. And I think it has handles too because you can see the wire. So 
that lid would have gone with this, but I had used this last year for another project. So I painted the whole thing, lid and everything in the plaster. Um, and then I just took some sandpaper and kind of distressed it a little bit. And I, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite jars that Dollar Tree sells because you can do so many different things with this. I love the look of it. I love that you can distress it and you can paint it any color you want. I just am in love with the plaster color. <laughs> um, it's not too bright and it's not cream. I just think it's the perfect little white color. So I had this planter from Dollar General and it was just a dollar. I actually grabbed a few of them. I love the look. You can actually pop the top off of this, which I didn't know until doing this project, but just give a little tug and see how it separates. And then you can pull that plant right through. It's so cool too, because the foam inside there is painted. So it kind of resembles dirt um, and is pretty realistic for a dollar. So all I did was pop it and I pushed the plant through and I'm gonna put it inside my planter and oh my gosh how easy is that right you have a cute little planter that cost you two dollars and you can save that and use that for another project so just adorable and functional and i don't know what else to say but i'm loving this little plant i know i'm obsessed with plants at marshall's I absolutely have to buy a plant every time I go to Marshalls. I just love their plants, but they're pretty pricey. I mean, probably it starts at $8 all the way past 20 Here, $2, and you got a cute little planter for spring. How cute is that? You can trim off the little excess leaves that kind of flop around. <laughs> there is two, but look, it looks just like dirt. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And you compare it with that candle and there is a plant from Marshall's. I think that one was $7.99. And here's our little $2 plant. So cute, same effect. Greenery, I just love decorating with plants and the greenery makes everything else around it just pop and stand out. Perfect decor for spring. Don't forget to check out your local thrift stores as well. I got a bunch of these cross stitch doilies at Goodwill and when I say a bunch, I think I got like five or six of these, all different. But this one had a planter with spring flowers in it. And actually the um, the wooden box that it's on, it was a thrifted item as well. And I just draped it over it for my spring decor. How cute is that? I think I paid 10 cents for this. Another cheap and easy decor for spring is vases. I always see vases at my thrift stores. This vase was 50 cents. I love the white, the creaminess with the pink, pop of pink. I actually can fit, as I showed you, my plant from Marshall's inside this vase. And when you're done, you just take it right back out. Another great cheap and easy thing is save your bottles. Save your, past, your pasta sauces, save your pizza sauces. You don't necessarily have to buy mason jars. Um, now spaghetti sauces, their mason jars are super cute. So just take the time to take the wrapper off and voila, you have such a cute little mason jar that you can fill with flowers. I love taking daisies and kind of putting them around the bottom. That way the bottom also is colorful and you have the pink, Beautiful daisies at the bottom with the flowers sticking up at the top. And I think this was a pizza sauce jar. So yeah, like you're going to buy pizza sauce anyway. You might as well save the jar. Now you have a free decor project for spring. 
I love these coffees and I save those jars too. These coffees aren't cheap, so why not use the jar as well? Get the most bang for your buck. The labels are very easy to take off of these and they make the cutest little vases for your flowers. Now, Dollar Tree also has planters. You get three for $1.25 now, but I got these for a dollar because I bought them last year. They also sell bigger ones, which I think were two for a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. But you can do so many things with these planters. You can paint them your favorite color. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that mint green? Oh my goodness. And you can use these for tea lights or votives. They fit in there and pop a votive in there. Boom. You can add that as a decor piece a little accent piece, or you could use it what it was for. You could put some uh, floral foam in the bottom and you could put flowers in there as well. But I love using these for candles because they're so cute. You could even wrap some twine around that and it just adds a little bit more to your spring decor using a potted plant, which screams spring to me. Here I'm actually adding flowers, which, you know, it's a planter. Of course, you're going to put flowers in there. But they're just very, very cute additions for your decor. And look how stinking cute these are together. One has a candle, one has flowers. Perfect little accent pieces. If you have some of these homes, Target had them, and I actually got this one from Five Below when it was on clearance. It was originally $3, and it was 70% off. Oh my goodness. So I paid under a dollar for this. Now, these houses don't have to just be used for Christmas. You can grab the most chunky flowers you have. <laughs> you can put it in the bottom. And instead of having the house facing normal with the door and the windows in front, you can flip it around and have the bottoms come out of the opening in the back where you would put your candle. So that's another cheap, easy idea using probably Christmas decor that you already have. Have those flowers come out of the opening and set it on the shelf. And it's so cute. And it's a way to use these houses for more than just Christmas. So cute together. And another idea is to go in the wedding section at Dollar Tree and get these white buckets. They're two or three in a package, I think, for a dollar. And again, they make the perfect little votive holders or tea light holders. If your Dollar Tree still has these little homes, they're easily converted into a birdhouse, which I did in a video last year, using some of the Dollar Tree palettes for the top. Put your favorite um, paper inside, I went with wood, and then just drill a hole in the center for the bird perch. Look how cute this is. And birdhouses, oh my gosh, scream spring. Um, I also could decorate this. I could put some floral or some greenery in the bottom of this. You could put a bird in it. Like, I just love birdhouses, and it's so stinking easy to make. You can check that video out. I'll link that below if you would like to see how a detailed description of how I made it. Here is an overview of everything I showed you, how you can just do cheap, easy decor and it doesn't break the bank, but still ends up looking absolutely gorgeous to bring that spring vibe into your home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved doing it. I love these little creations and I love the price point. If you loved it too, mash that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, or just leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it and what your ideas were. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. I love y'all so, 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 so much, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye, y'all.